Question 31. Convert the following logarithmic equations to exponential form. Part A gives us log base 7 of x equals 4. And so our argument is going to become our solution in exponential form. Our base remains the base, and the solution of the logarithmic form becomes the exponent. So this would be equivalent to saying x equals 7 to the power of 4. And that would end up getting us to an answer of 2,401. For the next one here, we have 4 equals log of x. And so if we just see log and there's no base written, we're going to assume that it's a base of 10. And so that gives us the base for our exponential form. The exponent's 4, and the argument becomes the solution of the power. And so if x equals 10 to the power of 4, x would then equal 10,000. Moving on to part c, log base 5 of 15 equals y. So the base is 5, the exponent would become y, and the argument is what we're trying to get this to. So 15 equals 5 to the power of y. This would be one that would be a lot easier to solve as it is in logarithmic form. And so if we were to do that, we'd get to a y value of 1.68. Now moving down to the bottom row, all three of these involve variables, which means that we're not necessarily going to be able to solve them to be able to find the value that they represent. So for part D, log base 7 of y over 3 equals x. So this time, my base is 7, and the exponent's x, and my argument, since it's y over 3, is going to become what my power is equal to. So the best I can do here is isolate for y, and I can do that if I multiply both sides by 3. So y equals 3 times 7 to the power of x. Part e, log base 5 of 7y equals x. So the base is 5, the exponent's x, and that's equal to our argument, which is 7 times y. And so to get y by itself, I'll divide both sides by 7. Normally, we're going to write that a value separately. So rather than showing that division by 7, we're going to write it as 1 over 7. And then I can see that my a value is 1 over 7, and the b value is 5. And now for the last one here, log base e of y over 8 equals x. Now log base e, we could also write that as ln, but we'll just leave it how it is right here. So my base is e, the exponent's x, and the argument is what it's equal to here in exponential form, so we'd have y over 8. So now to get y by itself, I'll need to multiply both sides by 8. And so 8 becomes the a value, the b value is e, and our exponent is x.